Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. Nothing worth celebrating. Praise isn't necessary, really. I'm improving. Nothing worth celebrating. I still have much to learn. I'm getting closer. It's all in hand. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Everything went pretty well today. I appreciate your coaching, Professor. I got it? Good! You're quite the motivator, Professor. I appreciate your coaching, Professor. All thanks to you. All thanks to you. Thanks for the tips. Can't say I'm surprised. Go on, sing my praises again. Can't say I'm surprised. I'm looking sharp, huh? Make this stuff seem easy. My efforts bear fruit at last. I could do as much in my sleep. You see, flawless. It is still far from enough. I shall accept as much praise as you're willing to offer. <laughs> you see, flawless. You see, flawless. Would you look at that? Not bad. You're laying it on a little thick. Thoughts? I'll think on that. Friend. It is a perfect day to exert oneself. Oh no, this is impossible. Look, Professor, we did great!
well-oiled machine. Thanks. Another fine day, alone in my room, and plenty of books to read. Bernadetta, I have something to discuss with you. Um, uh, what? I didn't do anything. No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are. I can tell. Just get it over with. What did I do? You did not do anything wrong. Please, listen. Look, just breathe, will you? Can't breathe. I see that you are struggling. Please calm down. <gasps> Easy for you to say? I just wanted to discuss how you are always hiding in your room. It seems like something must be troubling you, for you to shut yourself away like that. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. No! Uh I'm fine. See, I'm breathing out. You fixed me. Can I go? Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. The social life of a noble is actually rather... Just stop it. I'm not interested. Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. I beg you to take my hand, otherwise I will have to pick you up and carry you and neither of us will- What am I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business! Get lost! <sighs> oh. oh no! Uh, ouch! I sprayed my wrist! Oh no, 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 no! Now you've done it, Bernie. Now? You're his eternal rival. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I... No! I'm done for! You'll be the death of me for sure! Maybe I should just come back later. In battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience taking command. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask. Roses have thorns. I created a 
plan. plan. Should be honored. How humiliating. I owe you one. If only my research had such results. Even enjoy it. My heart is full of victory.
Only a fool challenges me. This can't be right. People like me are quick studies. It's time. Another step forward. Each battle, a chance to grow. Winning's always nice. Well, like what you see. Hardly worth my time. My plan is flawless. Another skill mastered. My heart is full of victory. Hard work created this. Don't you think? Always nice. Growth is a part of life. <laughs> Failure is not an option. It's a long road yet. I've 
really made this my own. What a jump. Stronger than this? Never underestimate a noble. I am quite pleased. I appreciate your coaching. I appreciate your coaching. I will master this. Oh, I was right. How embarrassing. I'm not used to such praise. How long will this take? Tell me, am I achieving anything yet? That went way better than expected. Thanks for your help. As long as it makes me stronger. I got it right? Phew. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring. Thanks for the help. I did pretty well today. I think I got it. Thanks for the help. I have understanding. You are giving me praise? I will get more soon. I have understanding. Your guidance was greatly you. I have understanding. I have understanding. I could do as much in my sleep. I could do as much in my sleep. Oh, it's only you. Is there some reason you're here? Your gaze was rather piercing for someone who was just looking. I see now, you found yourself captivated by my charms. <laughs> this sort of thing happens all the time to those of us blessed with such transcendent beauty. If you say so, you seem a trifle stuck on the point if you ask me. Now then, you may call yourself my tutor if you wish, and I shall attend your classes. But none of this charade will make the idea of a mercenary teaching me any less absurd. <laughs> what was that look? Are you trying to convey that I'm a mere commoner, like yourself? 
Well, you are correct. Think of me as a temporarily embarrassed noble. Even a gilded wyvern must take refuge in its cave occasionally. But in time, it will soar free once more. I shall fly, bold and beautiful, into the skies again. My nobility and all of House Nouvelle shall be restored. Luck isn't a thing that you can bestow or that I need. I will do this. When I restore the glory of my house, you may serve me in some menial way. I may even pay you. <laughs> Is that the most you can say when offered such a tantalizing prize? <laughs> say whatever you like, if it makes you feel better. It shall not sway me one way or the other. <laughs> You look as though you want to say something. Allow me to save you the effort. If you intend to tutor me, I will require you to first prove that time will not be wasted. Show me not just your talent for teaching, but your wisdom, your skill, your mettle, your sense of authority. <laughs> of course! I've been struck by my own genius. You may assist me in my research. That ought to provide a chance for you to grasp the extent of how magnificent I am. It will also afford me the time I need to scrutinize your character. It's a plan so perfect that you can't turn it down, huh? Good, but I'm loud. You might want to run for cover. Tra la 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 la. Sing out over peaks, ring out over valleys. Let my lovely voice echo through the streets and alleys. Ah, there you are. Can we talk? I need a favor, and you strike me as the charitable type. Receptive, aren't you? I know I shouldn't ask, but I need some gold. Hard times all around, then. Well, it was worth a shot. I guess that debt collector traveled all the way to Garrick Mock for nothing. If I were you, I'd feel bad about leaving the poor guy hanging like that, but it is what it is. No, it's a lose-lose. I owe the church, too. That means any work I do here, they take a cut. The only way to escape my financial burden is to get clear out of Fodlin. I had... didn't mean to bring you down. No, it's just joking, yeah? We all have to decide where we belong and then fight for it. Can't let your wallet control your fate. If money was all I cared about, I never would have walked away from inheriting a baron's house. Uh, it's nothing. It was a minor house in the east of the Alliance. I like to say I stepped aside for the good of the house has a nicer ring to it than saying I just wasn't cut out for the gig. Or that I lacked the right temperament. My distinguished little bro took my place. Fact is, he's a much better man for the job. Don't go feeling sorry for me now. I didn't mind one bit. Truth is, I'd have been miserable in that life. Having that title was nothing but fuss. Fuss is the worst. This way of life suits me much better. And you? You showing up at Garrick Mock was a coincidence wrapped in happenstance. Your pops was a renowned mercenary leader. It can be safely assumed you'll follow in his footsteps. But don't you ever feel like that life was decided for you? Better start pondering that one real quick, pal. Why keep breathing if your life isn't your own, yeah? Well, there's a decided lack of gold here, so I'll be off now. 
You think on what I said. Still as a stone, Bernie. If he can't see you, then you're not in his way. What a weird, lumpy rock. <laughs> Definitely doesn't belong here. Better toss it into a nearby body of water. What? No! Look! I'm helping! We're done now. Right, Yuri? Nope, we sure aren't. We'll be all wrapped up as soon as we finish our report. I'm getting closer. Ah, it's clear to me now. I will master this. Let's put this to the test. Hope this is good for something. I'm a quick study. A bit more skill never hurt anyone. I'm a well-oiled machine! I'm getting the hang of this. Again. You're certainly working hard, Kaspar. <sighs> oh, Edelgard! You scared me, you should have said something. I did, but no matter. What has your training with such intensity? It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill-advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. You think so? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. If memory serves, you're the second son of House Bergleaves, right? That's right. My older brother is the heir, and there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty much have to make it on my own, you know? I understand. It's difficult being born a noble. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens. But the same can be said of those who inherit nothing. What are you talking about? I don't have any troubles. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight, Kaspar? Hey, now come on. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Always happy to fight, though, if that's what you want. Uh, I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. What was that about? I'll never understand her. <laughs> see to this. Yubi, what are you doing here? A routine matter. No cause for concern. Ah, so it's something to do with AD then. And? She really is all you ever think about, isn't she? Look, I know you're doing all this so that she'll like you, but if you go too far, she'll end up pushing you away. Maybe even hate you. This has nothing to do with swaying Lady Edelgard's sentiments. I am simply her humble servant. I do what is in her best interest. Whether she cares for me or not is irrelevant. It really doesn't look that way to me. I bet you'd follow any order AD gave if you thought it would make her like you. Am I right? Any order? <laughs> what a thing to suggest. But the answer is no. I will decline any directive that I deem would not be beneficial to her. Is that right? So, just for example, if Adi commanded you to find yourself a suitable wife, would you do it? If it would benefit her in some way for me to marry, then yes, I would marry. Mm, it's easy to say that now, with no bridal party in sight. But if it was the day of the wedding? Nah, I don't believe that. 
I don't care what you believe. My only wish is to see Lady Edelgard fulfill her ambitions. All other matters pale in comparison. Hubie, pale in comparison? You've seen too many operas. I don't think you understand how the world works. At all. And I don't care what you think, either. I would make any sacrifice to support Lady Edelgard. It's a shame you've never experienced such devotion. You're right. I don't have anyone like that right now. But maybe someday I will. Then maybe someday you'll understand. Until then, we will never see eye to eye. Now, if you will excuse me, I have much to do. Yubi, I don't get you. Although I do find your point of view just fascinating. <laughs> Stupid rain! Go back to the stupid cloud you came from. I'm soaked. Ach what a pain. Happy? Yikes. You look like you just crawled out of a lake. Here, dry yourself off. And don't just stand there. You'll catch a cold. Come on. I'll make you some tea. Oh, um, okay. Huh. It's been ages since I had a nice cup of tea during a rainstorm. Pretty nice, eh? I don't drink tea very often. It is nice. But what does the rain have to do with anything? Doesn't rain make you want to read a book? Or rather, nap with a book on your lap. Though, I guess I'd like that no matter the weather. But then, if the book is too good, not only will I be unable to sleep, my tea would get cold. That makes brewing it a wasted effort. Ah, and that's why I don't drink tea when it rains. Right. Thanks for clearing that up. And thanks for the cup of tea. Well, I'm pretty much dry now. Gotta say, though, I'm kind of confused. Huh? About what? This just seems way out of character for you. You're so focused on yourself, you've barely ever spoken to me before now. No, oh, good point. The thing is, I'm not cut out for battle. If a fight breaks out, I'm only a liability. It's better for everyone if I keep my distance. What does fighting have to do with... Oh, I get it. You think I'm gonna sigh. You're just like the others. But if that's true, why are you acting so different? What do you mean? Use your words to make the things in your head make sense to the rest of us. Fine. Here's what's in my head. I don't understand why you're being nice to me. Look around us. Nobody else will even risk coming near me. They're probably afraid you'll sigh, since you looked pretty rough when we came in. Makes sense. Your sighs are disastrous. If I can prevent one with a nice, lazy cup of tea, it's the least I can do. I see. You did it for your own sake. Well, whatever your reasons, I'm surprised that you'd even consider doing this. For me. Surprised or not, it's no skin off my back. I'll keep doing what I do regardless of anyone's expectations. Think on that. I expected you to be a hazard, but you weren't. No harm, no foul, no need to sigh. If only it were that simple. Shh. 